So welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff. And so today we're going to be looking at this. This is the IO Gear Pro USB 4 8K Triple View Docking Station. And that is quite a mouthful, but it actually is quite a docking station too. As far as I know, it's the only 8K docking station, but let's see if it meets our needs. So why I got this was to replace this. This is my Wavelink WLUG 69DK1 Re Revision B1. And so this is a docking station that I've had for a while. It's 5K dual 4K uh, displays, has four USB 3 ports on the front, two three USB uh, 3 ports on the back, two 4K monitor inputs, either HDMI or display ports, gigabit LAN, power supply, and a on-off switch. So everything works on here. Uh, I can use the dual uh, displays. Don't use the GigaNet Ethernet because I already have that. Uh, and I can fill up every single USB port on here. The problem is this only has one USB-C port. And unfortunately, more and more of my devices are USB-C. So I needed to upgrade. And so I looked for something that has both USB 3 and USB 4 ports, which are the USB-C Thunderbolt ports. And so this is what I found. Uh, actually, I did not uh, pay for this. IO Gear sent it to me. They did not ask to review this video or pay me in any way besides just sending this to me. So these opinions are my own. So, Let's start off and see what we've gained and what we've lost on this new uh, docking station. So if we look at the front, we have an on-off switch, a headphone jack, SD card slots, three USB 3 ports, and so one is 5 gigabits, 10 gigabits, 10 gigabit gigabits with 1.5 amp, and then we have a 10 gigabit uh, 30 watt Thunderbolt 4 port here. On the side we have another we have another USB 4 port. This is also powered. On the back we have our DC jack in, so 20 volts. Two USB 4 ports that can be for either displays or uh, USB 4 devices. We have one HDMI port for 4K 60. Uh, 8K display ports, 8K display port, or a 4K 60 port, uh, 2.5 gigahertz uh, Ethernet, and on the side here we have uh, two locks, Kensington locks. And then one nice thing about this, which is a little telling about uh, what happens when it runs those 8K monitors, is it has this nice uh, vent along the top here to vent out things, which uh, my old one does not have. It's just solid. Okay, so we'll get back to those uh, HDMI display ports in a second. So let's talk about the difference between these two. So this one has six USB 3 ports, uh, one USB-C port. Uh, this one has three USB three ports, but then it has four USB four ports, or actually, no, three, yeah, four USB four ports. Uh, so as you modernize to USB-C, USB four, this one will be handy, that's why I wanted it. And now if we look at the back of these, so we have Giganet Ethernet, this one has 2.5 gigabit ethernet. So like on my Mac, I can plug this in and access my NAS, which is actually on a 10 gigabit, gigabit port to you know, transfer files more rapidly. And I'll do that editing off a NAS video here soon. Also has the SD card readers, uh, which is a plus, and we can actually power devices off of this 
which we couldn't off the old one. This one also has 8K. Uh, you can use an 8K monitor. I don't have an 8K monitor, so I couldn't do that. One thing to know, though, is if you use the one thing to know is if you use the 8K display port, then you can't actually use any of the other uh, ports. How you can use an 8K monitor and another monitor, which maximum is 4K, is actually use the USB 4 ports on the end here. So now I like trying things out. And so the first thing I did was actually uh, plug this into my iPad 4. Uh, which has a Thunderbolt port. And by the way, this actually comes with a Thunderbolt 4 cable, I believe, and a power supply. So the iPad did not like the 30 watt USB 4 port. It did like the USB 4 port on the end of this and was charging. So I don't do not, I do not know how much power comes out of this one, but it was much more agreeable than the 30 watt one. The 30 watt one should be able to charge like a, a M series uh, Macintosh though, if you have a laptop. So once plugged in, I tried multiple devices such as hard drives, mice, keyboards. Uh, let's see, anything else? Those are basically it. Everything worked perfectly off of this. Uh, when I tried to do video, so video did not work perfectly for me. So so I have these cam links, uh, which are 4K, and so they're USB 3 on the end there, that's the blue, and I can also plug them into USB ports with these little adapters. So if I plug these directly in with the USB-C cable into the iPad, then I can use whatever camera is plugged in as another video device. When I actually plugged it into here, the camera did not make it to the iPad, so I couldn't use it as a video device, either with the USB-C or the USB-3 ports. Now that being said, I tried the same thing, the USB-3 ports on this, to get this uh, Elgato 4K working, and it would not work with this dock either. Yeah, so if you're going to use video, it does not work through the docking station. You have to uh, plug the video directly into your iPad. Now, when I used a Mac Mini, again, I could use everything. I got the 2.5 gigabit Ethernet working, which is awesome. And then uh, everything else works what I plugged in, except for, again, the Elgato Cam Link. So it would not work either on USB or USB-C, but it works when I plug it into the computer. So now the good news is, because I have everything else plugged into this, then I have lots of ports left onto the Mac Mini, so it is not a big deal that this does not work. So overall, this is a great device if you need to plug in lots of USB 4 or USB 3 devices, a combination of things. SD card reader, great. And you need to upgrade to 2.5 gigahertz. This is the perfect device for you. It can do three 4K monitors, depending on your system. Some systems are limited to the number of monitors they can have. Like the M-Series Max, the lower ends usually only can have two monitors. But then if you get a Mac Pro or something like that, then you can actually use all three uh, monitor ports here. So definitely a higher quality than the old one. So this is super lightweight. This is, feels like it's couple, quite a bit more weight. Here, let's, let's actually weigh it. So just checking the weight on these. So this one is about 335 grams. This is about 400 grams, so definitely heftier. Am I happy that I got this? Definitely, because now I can plug in all my USB 4 devices, and I get 2.5 gigahertz uh, Ethernet. 
I will add so a, a Velcro on the back. So this one I just have attached to the side of my cabinet. And then I'll do the same with this one. So down in the comments, tell me what you'd like to see in a docking station. And I'll pass that along to IO Gear. Well, that is it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. And we will see you next time.